Welcome to day 22 of our 30 for 30 on spiritual strength. You know, uh, one of the things that God's given to us for our spiritual strength is the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that's the supernatural ability of the Holy Spirit. And here are a couple of these gifts listed in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And listen, how both of them are for your strength. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 2 through 4. For if you have the ability to speak in tongues, you'll be talking only to God, since people won't be able to understand you. You'll, you'll be speaking by the power of the Spirit. But it will all be mysterious. But one who prophesies strengthens others, encourages them, and comforts them. A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally, but one who speaks the word of prophecy strengthens the entire church. You see, some people wonder, well, what are the supernatural gifts of the Spirit for? For your strength. For example, one of the pastors on our staff has been going through a legal battle for about five years. And last week, he told me he thinks it's finally coming to an end. It's taken his sleep, his peace, his joy. Today, I had a guest speaker who began prophesying over this pastor and saying, you've been going through a battle for a long time. It's taken your peace and your sleep. And uh, but God says it's coming to an end. It was so encouraging for this pastor to know God sees you, God knows, and it strengthened him. That's why it's so important for you to believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the supernatural power of God in your life. If you do, the Holy Spirit will begin to say things like this to you as well, and it will strengthen you like nothing else.